Okay, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Mr. Dan. Right now I've got some uh, cauliflower cooking, we're boiling away. Uh, we're going to make us, uh, for lack of a better thing, we're going to call it a, a, a cauliflower cutlet. Um, I saw this on the internet or on YouTube, I don't know, maybe a couple weeks ago, I don't know. But uh, it was uh, from a German YouTube uh, YouTuber. Uh, I think their channel is called Fresh Recipes. Well, that's what I think it is in English. <laughs> don't ask, don't ask me how to say it in German. I'm not. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so it looks really good. Um, we're gonna give it a whirl. Um, so anyway, we're gonna make. I'm gonna make some chicken cutlets tonight, but I'm gonna have these on the side. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so to let you see, I got my broccoli going. I'm, I'm trying to get that just to a little bit more than al dente, a little bit soft so we can mash it. Okay, then over here I've got a bowl, my little masher. There's some uh, panko breadcrumb that I got here in the dish. I got sprinkled a little bit of uh, parsley flake in there. I'm also going to use the parsley flakes in the actual mix. Back here I got some cheese I'm going to dump in there. You can use any kind of cheese you want. I've got a mix of breadcrumbs, regular breadcrumbs, and then some panko on top of that. Here I've got my own twist to the, this dish. I'm putting in uh, sun-dried tomatoes, about a quarter of a cup. And here I have uh, two eggs mixed up. So without further ado, let's continue. Okay, as you see, my cauliflower is uh, done. And uh, I'm a little cool a little bit, but see, it's there's a nice little soft and mushy. That's what you want. So I'll let this cool off for a couple minutes, and I'll be right back. Okay, so my... Uh, Cauliflower here has cooled down a bit. It doesn't really have to be, you know, cold, cold, but just uh, it's easier to work with when you you don't burn yourself. See, I'm just using a fork right now to bust this up into little pieces. And then I'm going to use my potato masher to even smooth it out even more once we get everything else going, see? Now you can spice this up. I'm going to probably put something in. I didn't do it yet, but probably going to put some uh, uh, peri peri sauce, maybe. I don't know. Put a little something, little, give it a little bite, a little kick. Okay. So, on top of that. Mix our eggs in there. Breadcrumbs, or well, let me see here. Uh, let me mix this in first there. I try to mix everything a layer at a time so we get a good mix. Okay, now we're going to dump our breadcrumbs in here. Put a little bit of, uh, excuse me, a little bit of uh, parsley flakes in here. Don't have no fresh. I wish I did, but I don't. So I'll put a little of that in here. Mix in my little. This is my new, new batch of uh, sun-dried tomatoes I made today. Let's throw that. And I like this. It's got a nice flavor, so I figure it'll go good with this. Mix that in. mix our cheese and like I said the cheese you can do any kind you want uh, totally up to you hold on <coughs> okay so I got my cheese ready and that's getting mixed in All right. 
Okay, so now I'm going to mash it up even further here. This is why you need a big bowl. Okay, so now I'm going to make a lot of noise, I guess, huh? <coughs> don't want to lose, don't want to waste any of these num nums here, so try to get them all out of there. And then we'll mix this again. I'm going to get some salt and pepper here and put that in. Okay, so I got some uh, salt and pepper here, so I'm going to put a little less in there. Oh. I want to overdo it. Well, I didn't tell you yet, but you got to preheat your oven 350, and then you got to get a sheet pan, which I'm gonna get about ready to get. And instead of putting in uh, more liquid, I figure I'm gonna put some. Uh, pepper flakes in here and that will give us a nice little boost of flavor so my wife will say oh I got, there's a little heat did you put something in there well you know me I like a little heat so won't be much <coughs> excuse me That's a good consistency because we're going to form these into little patties, pâtés as it were. Put this over here. Let me get my pan. Okay, so what I got here is I got a portion scoop. Okay. <clears throat> as you can see, you try to get them all like the same size. So, and then just scoop it in your hand. And form it into a nice little patty, not too thick, not too thin. And we'll pounce it in the breadcrumb like this. This is panko, so I like the panko, panko breadcrumb now. Okay, I take that out of there, shake off the excess, not too hard, and plop it in the tray. Okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna do one more and then. I'll give you guys a break while I finish them up. Scoop. Form a nice little ball, then smash it into a little patty. Just like so. Drop it in your breadcrumb, just like so. And then plop it right on the tray, huh? Okay, so I'll be back when I finish mixing up the rest of these. Okay, guys, as you can see, I got 12 of these little puppies out of here. So now what I'm going to do... Give them each a little spritz of olive oil, help them brown up a little bit. It's easier to do this with the spray than it is to try to drizzle it on with the bottle. Okay, I'm popping these in the oven for, they're going to be in there for about 40 minutes and we will be back. 
Okay, guys, there you have it. A little over 40, 40 minutes, give or take. So now we're going to dish this one up. I'll take this one right on the plate. And I made me a little sauce I'm going to add to this. And we'll meet you at the test, taste test table. Okay, guys, at the taste test table, you can see little uh, Elmo here likes it. Thank you, Camera Girl, for your assistance. And now, see that little crunch? <laughs> Look at that. It's a little my sauce I made for it. Mmm. Mmm. Nice. Mmm. Yeah, that's my uh, my ketchup and mayonnaise and everything else sauce that I make for everything else. It goes good. Anyway, let me give this a try. Hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. So hot. And while I was waiting for this to get done, I made us some Cajun chicken. Put it off to the side. We're going to have that with a salad tonight with this. At any rate, if you like the recipe, give us a thumbs up. Share with your friends, your neighbors, uh, family, whoever else. And if you have not yet done so, please subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. When you do, notification bell will pop up. You hit that, that will notify you each and every time we come up with another video. There's an arrow down button right below the video box. You hit that, a drop down box will come down. It'll give you a link to Cooking with Mr. Dan Facebook page, a link to my daughter's artwork site page, and a complete list of the ingredients to make this wonderful, wonderful dish. Thank you to uh, Fresh Recipes. Uh, the German channel, but it doesn't say fresh recipes, it says it in German. But anyway, <clears throat> it's pretty much their recipe, but it tastes good. So my friends, stay hungry when you are, come back and say, see, Mr. Dan will give you another delicious dish just like this. Wasn't Mr. Dan saying stay healthy, stay COVID-free. Thanks for watching, we'll see you on the next video. We're out for now.